Molly May Haig has broken her silence after being slammed over tone-deaf comments she made about wealth inequality during a recent interview. A clip of 22-year-old Molly's December interview on the diary of a CEO went viral this week, with her comments that she has worked my asterisk asterisk off for her wealth and that everyone has the same 24 hours in a day to achieve sparking a backlash. Molly appeared on Love Island in 2019 and last year was named the creative director of clothing brand Pretty Little Thing a title with a seven-figure salary. After her comments went viral, footage also resurfaced of the star being left horrified after being asked to work a 12-hour shift in the PLT warehouse in order to experience what goes on behind the scenes. A spokesman for the star told Mail Online that Molly acknowledges that people are raised in different ways and from different backgrounds and that she never meant to offend. A statement read, Molly did a podcast interview in December about her own rise to success. If you listen to the full conversation and interview Molly was asked about how the nature of her potential grows and how she believes in herself. This part of the interview was discussing time efficiency relating to success. Molly refers to a quote which says we all have the same 24 hours in a day as Beyonce. She was discussing her own experience and how she can resonate with this specific quote. Her opinion on if you want something enough you can work hard to achieve it is how she keeps determined with her own work to achieve more in her own life. Molly is not commenting on anyone else's life or personal situation she can only speak of her own experience. She acknowledges that everyone is raised in different ways and from different backgrounds but her comments here are in reference to timing, hard work and determination in her own life. If you listen to this interview you can see the whole conversation was about her own personal circumstances, how she has grown up and this small clip in the conversation was talking about a quote that inspires her. Social media users have shared a short snippet from this interview with words such as if you are homeless buy a house and if you are poor be poor these are absolutely not Molly's words. These are not Molly's thoughts and this isnt at all the meaning or thought behind that conversation. Molly's statement came as footage resurfaced of the star left flabbergasted after being asked to work a 12-hour shift. The PLT creative director spent the evening in the warehouse while filming for her YouTube channel. In the clip, Molly checks the time she is due to work with the warehouse staff before exclaiming, I'm on the 2 to 10, but it's actually quarter to 1 so I'm doing the 1 till 1, oh it's 12 hours. Gasping in shock, she adds, I'll be on the floor like this by 1 am. Jesus. Molly's recent interview prompted uncharitable comparisons to the late Margaret Thatcher. Molly, who boasts 6 million Instagram followers and 1.5 million YouTube subscribers, made the comments on the YouTube series The Diary of a CEO. While the interview was first shared on YouTube on December 13, a clip from the episode went viral on Wednesday when it was shared on Twitter. In the clip, Molly says, you're given one life and it's down to you what you do with it. You can literally go in any direction. 
When I've spoken about that in the past I have been slammed a little bit, with people saying it's easy for you to say that because you've not grown up in poverty, so for you to sit there and say we all have the same 24 hours in a day is not correct. But, technically, what I'm saying is correct. We do. She went on, I understand we all have different backgrounds and were all raised in different ways and we do have different financial situations, but I think if you want something enough you can achieve it. It just depends on what lengths you want to go to get where you want to be in the future. And it'll go to any length. She then added, I've worked my absolute asterisk asterisk e off to get where I am now. The clip was shared on Twitter by at TSRBYS under the comment if you're homeless just buy a house, and has been liked 28.6k times. Among the comments in response was, I should have put Molly May being Margaret Thatcher with a fake tan on my 2022 bingo card with others labeling her a Thatcherite. One fan tweeted, she literally just went on a TV dating show and got brand deals, I'm not sure she worked here a asterisk asterisk e off. Her immaturity is showing. If you come from a place of privilege you should work extra hard to educate yourself on the hardships of others. Another added. Worked her asterisk asterisk off. Of I go to do my 12 hour shift to put a roof over mine and my son's head I should have thought of this but don't think Love Island would accept 48 years old, size 14 single mums, another follower tweeted. I dare Molly May to tell some of the UK's lowest paid workers that they're less hard working than someone who takes Instagram photos for a living, agreed another commenter. Hustle culture and the effects of pretty privilege are exhausting. Some showed their support for the reality star, with one fan writing, of course this is a stupid comment but I do feel like she's been hung out to dry a bit here. The podcast was called The Diary of a CEO, where I think she felt the need to say inspiring things like follow your dreams and you can do anything. It's tone deaf, not malicious. Another tweeted, people saying she needs to know about the background of those less fortunate. Life comes at you in different ways. What she is saying is that everyone has the same potential and you can get to the same places with or without money. Yes one is harder but you can get there. While Molly May has had her fair share of critics, the reality star has found an ally in the form of small business MP Paul Scully. The Conservative Minister, 53, waded into the row on Friday, stating an aspirational approach to life is no bad thing. Asked if her comments were fair, Paul told LBC, I think it is, but I think you've got to define success, because some of the comments that I was hearing in the lead up to my piece on this was about money, but success doesn't necessarily equal money. It can be, you know, furthering your job, whether it's in public service or whatever. And I think an aspirational approach to life is no bad thing. What we've got to make sure, though, is that opportunity is equally distributed around the country. And that's why the leveling up agenda that we often talk about in government is so so important to make sure that those 24 hours can be matched by the opportunities by education and business across the country. In an interview with Mail Online last year, 
Molly May insisted that she thinks she'd be just as successful without taking part in Love Island in 2019. The social media star told Mail Online, the things that I've achieved since coming out of that show aren't really down to the show they are more down to my drive and ambition to do big things. Molly May explained, I always say don't bite the hand that feeds you but also respect that I've obviously worked so hard to get where I am now. I always had big goals and I set myself huge dreams. Everybody when they come out of that show is given the same opportunities, we all have the same 24 hours in the day, and where you take your life when you come out of a show like that is totally dependent on who you are as a person. The reality star revealed she had actually been warned against going on Love Island by advisors as her social media following was already growing organically at a rapid rate and had been spotted by multiple brands, including Pretty Little Thing. It was more a fun opportunity where I thought let's just see where this goes and I might actually find a guy. I think. It pushed me in the right direction but I would have still done good things, Molly reflected. When asked where her ambition to keep striving comes from, Molly joked, pushy parents. She added, I had my first job when I was 13 in a hairdresser's sweeping the floor. I've always had that hunger to earn my own money and be a bit of a businesswoman. It was announced in May 2021 that the reality star is a millionaire after earning over £500,000 in a year through lucrative brand deals and YouTube videos. In addition to her jaw dropping earnings, she reportedly also has £786,959 worth of assets which includes £777,179 in cash reserves. Molly admitted, there's always the desire to want more from life. I just think you're only given one life so you might as well pull as much from it as you can. Molly's seven-figure deal with Pretty Little Thing to become their new creative director was announced last August. Of her new role, the elated star gushed, I always wanted to work in fashion. I studied fashion in London for two years at a fashion school when all my friends were doing sixth form because I had a really clear vision of where I wanted to go. But this is just huge. It was a shock that PLT's CEO Uma, Kamani, was trusting me with such a huge role within the brand. He just trusted my creative input and my thoughts and ideas. That is such an honor. The opportunities are endless.